I'm uh, I'm asked more often than not how come all of my poetry is sad. <laughs> so I'm going to read a poem that's not sad. As a matter of fact, you're supposed to laugh. But before uh, I read it, I have to apologize to the great poet Billy Collins because I do say some kind of harsh things about him, and I actually kind of like Billy Collins. But uh, just it's pre-apologized right now. It's called Cicadas. I was thinking, summer and cicadas go together, alliteratively and in nature. I like them both. Maybe I'll write about them. Then I remembered Billy Collins going on a rant about cicadas. Everyone writes about cicadas, he said. He was sick of reading the word, he said. He wouldn't read another poem with a cicada in it, he said. Damned Yankee, I thought. Mark Twain said, write what you know. I thought, I'm from Oklahoma. I know cicadas. Screw Billy Collins. John Galsworthy said, write what interests you. I thought, I'm from Oklahoma. Cicadas interest me. Sort of. Screw Billy Collins. So I decided to write about cicadas and summer, but mostly cicadas. Screw Billy Collins. It would be a summer of cicadas, with cicadas singing cicada songs. I would praise the much maligned cicada. There would be cicadas in the trees, cicada husks on barn doors, cicadas here, cicadas there. Cicadas every fucking where you look, and I would title it Ode to Cicadas, like Wordsworth, or maybe Percy Shelley. It would be the grand tribute to cicadas. I read it aloud. I think it said cicada 20-some-odd times. The word was humming in my head like the damn creature itself up in the trees. All I could hear was cicada, cicada, cicada. I paused. Cicada. 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 The word was buzzing in my brain. I wanted to run. I wanted to scream. I wanted to stop its internal scraping like a... Oh, Lord. No. Forgive me, Mr. Collins. I swear they shall be locusts from now on. <laughs> well, maybe Billy Collins will take that with a grain of salt. <laughs>